vision for Kamal from the start was that it would be a, a gathering place. We wanted it to feel inclusive and unpretentious and approachable for the diverse population of the East Bay and the Greater Bay Area in general and hopefully serve as some sort of a cultural incubator and a place where culture can thrive and a living room for downtown Berkeley in some ways, hopefully. Most restaurants tend not to have acoustic absorption. Uh, there's usually a lot of hard surfaces such as wood floors or concrete or mirrors or even marble. Um, so there's not very much absorption that happens in the room. So what happens is the sound levels um, tend to get higher and higher because sound keeps reflecting off the surfaces. So that's why you need a combination of active and passive systems in order to absorb the sounds first of all and then reintroduce the sounds in a controlled manner. We created a very dry acoustic environment as a base level and then from there the Constellation system allows us to bring warmth back into the room through changing the reverberation levels. But in the case of a restaurant where you want it to feel lively, you don't want the acoustics to be so dry and the room doesn't feel buzzy. So I think the dilemma is to achieve that buzziness while still having an acoustical environment where conversation can happen without people having to raise their voices to an uncomfortable level. Sound and light are always considerations for us. I think some designers really just pay more attention to the initial visual look of the space, but we really care about all five senses, sound and, and lighting being really important things. So at Kamal, we installed 38 UP Junior loudspeakers in the ceiling, 45 mm 4 xb speakers um, laterally at a, about a 10-foot height around the restaurant, and also 28 uh, mini cardioid microphones and 12 subwoofers. So the way that the system works is the, the microphones capture the sound of the restaurant which goes into the processor and all the signals are processed in real time and then come out of the loudspeakers which introduces the signals back into the room. Libra is an acoustically absorbent panel that features photography or artwork directed by Deborah O'Grady, who is a Bay Area photographer. So at Kamal, the Libra panels, there are five different panels, there are two in the back and three in the front. And what they do is they, they provide some absorption on the surfaces that help reduce the, the overall reverberation time of the space. The relationship between art and food, actually, when you go to a restaurant, you're expecting an aesthetic experience. You want your food to look good. You want it to taste good. You want to be in a beautiful space. If you're in a space that's indifferent, if it's too brightly lit, if it's too loud, you don't have as good an experience and you may not want to go back. I've had lots of people kind of run into it unknowingly or backwards and just kind of leave saying, wow, we really noticed that we weren't exhausted from yelling at each other at the table and we could hear each other and it, wasn't, it didn't feel terribly noisy for a busy full restaurant. We have done a lot of restaurants in the past and I think that in the past when we've mentioned acoustics to people, they've just said, yeah, yeah, we want to deal with that. And then, you know, we do the design as we always did. And at the very end, after they opened, they would say, oh yeah, it's too loud in here. <laughs> and then we would talk about what they could do afterwards. And I think now we will say, no, we, let's pay attention to it now. Come to Kamal, hear what it can be like, and put some money towards this in your budget up front. And I think it's much more compelling now and that that's a good investment.